Can a teaspoon measure one gram? Hello there, measurement enthusiasts. Today, we're going to tackle a seemingly simple but actually quite complex question. Can a teaspoon measure one gram? We often hear of measurements in cooking using teaspoons or grams, but can they be used interchangeably? Let's dig deeper. What is a teaspoon measurement? A teaspoon is a unit of volume commonly used in cooking and baking. In many parts of the world, particularly in the United States, a teaspoon equates to approximately 4.93 milliliters. However, this measurement is not uniform globally. In the UK, for example, a teaspoon is understood to be exactly 5 milliliters. What does 1 gram refer to? In contrast to a teaspoon, 1 gram is a unit of mass or weight. It is a part of the International System of Units, more commonly known as the SI unit system, which is used worldwide. A gram is defined as one thousandth of a kilogram, the base unit of mass in the SI system. Can we measure grams with a teaspoon? Here comes the crucial part. While both a teaspoon and a gram are units of measurement, they measure different things, volume and weight, respectively. Therefore, a teaspoon cannot directly measure grams, as it's like comparing apples to oranges. That said, there are cases where we can use a teaspoon to measure a specific weight, but this heavily depends on the substance in question. For instance, a teaspoon of water weighs close to 5 grams, while a teaspoon of flour weighs around 2.5 grams. Each substance has a different density, which makes direct conversion impossible without additional information. So, can a teaspoon measure 1 gram? Not exactly. Remember that a teaspoon measures volume while a gram measures weight. While we sometimes use them interchangeably in recipes, they are not direct equivalents, and using one to measure the other without the right conversion can lead to inaccuracies. Understanding the difference between these two types of measurements can help us to be more precise in our cooking and baking, as well as in other areas of life. I hope this video has helped clear up any confusion around this topic. Thanks for watching, and happy measuring!